So guess what? Filmora has teamed up with Dolby to bring Dolby Vision to Filmora. So what does that mean? Hey, it's me again, Andres, and today we're gonna be exploring why Dolby Vision is so special and how to use it in Filmora. But wait, first is history lesson time with Sanjit. Dolby Laboratories has been at the forefront of innovation for decades. From pioneering surround sound to transforming digital cinema, their quest for perfection led to Dolby Vision, a cutting edge, high dynamic range format that enhances color, contrast, and brightness. Unlike conventional HDR formats, Dolby Vision adapts to every screen with dynamic metadata, adapting brightness and color settings frame by frame, adapting HDR footage for regular displays and regular footage for HDR displays. In other words, dynamic metadata makes every frame of your video look good, no matter how you're watching. It could be TV, phone, it doesn't matter. Now, how all this affects my production process? Well, in every way, it changes everything. Let's talk about brightness, for example. I filmed this shot on my phone. When I tried to expose the outside, the inside became underexposed. And when I tried to expose the inside, outside became overexposed. So I changed the setting on my phone to enable Dolby Vision HDR. Then bam, everything looked great. I don't have to choose between deep blacks or bright highlights. I can just have it all. And then I start editing. Oh, no. The inside of the house was still too dark for my liking, so I just brightened the image without revealing any underexposed pixels or missing details because there are none. Now let's go back to Sanjeev to learn about color. Regular SDR cameras capture a measly 16.2 million different colors, whereas Dolby Vision cameras can capture about 68 billion colors, allowing you to create sharper and more colorful images than ever before. Thank you, Sanjeev. But what does having more colors actually look like? Well, let me show you. With so many colors, I was able to completely change the look and feel of my video even after I had shot it. But do you really need all these extra colors and shades? Yes, you need them. Most TVs nowadays have high dynamic range and Dolby Vision, it's commonly used in the streaming platforms like Netflix and Prime. So if you are not shooting HDR, people will actually notice that your video is lower quality. But what about social media? Would people notice on social media? Well, you tell me. Jump scare! <laughs> so, how do you use this groundbreaking tool to make your videos sharper and more lifelike with Filmora? Let me show you. First, I import my Dolby Vision footage. Then I adjusted the color space by going to File, Project Settings, and selected HDR Reg 2100 HLG. Once I finished editing, I went to Export and set the format to a Dolby Vision format. These formats are only available on Mac for now. I exported in the proper color space by pressing the setting option beside Preset. Navigate to Export Color Space and select HDR 2100 HLG. If you can't adjust your color space, make sure GPU acceleration is enabled on your device by going Preference, then Performance. Enable it and then restart Filmora. And there you have it. Now you can unleash the power of Dolby Vision HDR with Filmora. Deeper blacks, brighter highlights, and an expanded color palette with just a few clicks. Still have some questions? Do you want to know more technical information about bitrate or maybe the difference between a codec and a wrapper? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on the channel. Keep creating and I'll see you next time.